Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. Very excited. I've thought about pretty much nothing besides this game since yesterday. And uh we had a, that was a really that was a really fun six hours of streaming this. We had a good time. There was there was a lot of learning. There was some really good drama. Towards the end there, it was looking like we might party wipe, actually, against that boss in that lair. Uh, but we prevailed. Totally calculated. And uh, some of our relationships with our buddies are in shambles. But we can fix that. The loathing howls. Okay, so this was... I was worried about this, but... Uh, we did not actually get... So anything that we did didn't save. <laughs> Didn't save. So we have like Learn what a bunch of things taught. to upgrade here. That you may stand just a little and we'll just go ahead and do that. End. We'll go ahead and do that. Nice to see you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, it was pointed out to me yesterday that we had like an insane amount of viewers. I, I had no clue. So thank you so much for all the support and being here hanging out. Uh, it was an absolute blasty blast. So uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Um, let's see if I remember what we picked. <laughs> that should be fun. I think we ended up taking this this heal here. The Dead of Night heal. I'm pretty sure we took that. I think we took uh, this for more Blight as well. Uh, let's go ahead. We took Noxious Blast for more Blight. I think we might have taken this one for a little bit of extra heal as well. If I'm not mistaken. The battlefield medicine. Uh, then I think we probably took damage there. Damage on crush. And I don't know. I don't know what else we would have taken. But we're going to take crush damage here. And then I'm going to have to rebuy some stuff also. Uh, is it tracking shot? I think it was tracking shot. So we can manually add the combo. Yeah, target, combo, boom. Okay, if that's not quite exactly what we did, eh, we'll be okay. We'll survive. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. All right, so sneakers standard, the damage trinket, I'm pretty sure we bought this, and I think we bought hastening history as well. Let's take these. We're going to buy these playing cards. I bought an Icker Bomb. on the road to damnation. I remember that. Uh, let's go into... Where are we? Uh, we fed Winnow... Or we fed Toby, I think, some food. I don't know if we fed Winnow or not. Maybe that is after feeding him. Maybe that is after feeding him. Each improvement. In here, a new we're good. In the equation of your fate. Let's just equip these guys now. So I think we went with, uh, I think we went with speed on this one. So instead of the max HP, we're taking the four speed. So nine, that's pretty insane. Uh, Grave Robber, we have two crit and damage. Highwayman, we got rid of this one in favor of extra damage. And then Man at Arms, we're like full, full tank, full tank all day long, pretty much. I didn't buy the stealth scroll, but I was interested in it. Yeah, that was uh, conventional fare. This one, right? But fairly priced. Is this the one you're talking about? This is not bad. 25% chance to start out stealth. Uh, Rogue handle could benefit from this, but I mean, if I was gonna switch it, I would switch it for the HP because this is really only adding like three. So. You know what? Let's actually Send do what it. you can. Let's buy it. For wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Let's buy it. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this on here. Now, uh, we're going to save some money because we want to get rid of some of the bad uh, quirks that we have. We've got Fussy Eater, Weak Hold on Life here for Rogue Handle. Lost in Space and Time. Uh, that just looks horrible. We do get the speed, which is cool. But when we're stress damaged, uh, a lot of things can go down. It's funny. 
plus eight speed here, minus two here. Resilience really good. Generous is nice. Slugger is fantastic. Man at Arms. We have the Resistance, Death Seeker, On Guard, Necrophobia, Peacemaker, Robust, Sprained Wrist, which is honestly fine. Erudite. He's a bit, maybe a bit annoying. And then uh, I think we're. I think that's it, right? I know I. I know we fed these guys something somewhere. Maybe I should feed him some food. All right. Let's do that. I've got a little bit of space left. I have 58 relics, 19 bubbles. Uh, combat items. We've got the chalk dust. So we were taking this into the dungeon to think like, hey, maybe somebody has some, some stealth. But that did not end up being the case. Uh, the provisioner does not sell any healing items as far as I can tell. We have some in items for stress. Yeah. So what do we want to carry here? I think maybe an Icker Bomb there. Who's got the fastest speed? We're at a 9 there. 12 here. So I'm going to actually give him... He's got a little bit of healing there. We have some blinds. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, also, today, chat. We're going to take a break like once in a while. Like not a long break. But I have some keys to give away. I have five free codes for this game that will unlock the game for you today. I was going to give them away yesterday and then totally <laughs> I just got too into it and uh, didn't. Didn't do that. So, yeah. Now, hold on a second. Did these change on us? Did this change... I feel like maybe this changed. Because we had... Uh... I think this changed. <laughs> Just too bad. So that's good to know. Because we were going to pick a map that we hadn't been through before. But I think we've tried both of these. Now this, we get one mastery point if we avoid the hospital. Look, we can get mastery points in a lot of other ways. But what we can do is try and focus on uh, getting more relics. And then uh, spending those relics at the hospitals to remove a bunch of negative traits. Because we're not going to do this. We're not going to uh, take everything off the stagecoach and have to deal with inventory stuff. Only to get a coach upgrade that I don't need. And have negative 10 death blow resist. So we're going to go here and not avoid the hospitals, pretty much. Yeah. So. That's what we'll do. Oh, yeah. We run the Fetter map. We did the, uh, the Tangle. Oh, did we have to reuse our in items? Oh, we do. Yes. Good call. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. Let's do this. Play all of our cards again. It's all gold, baby. Bad there. That's fine. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, so that's good lesson learned. Uh, if we're ever going to wrap up, we should at least start our next route and then just end there, probably. Okay, so we can reduce stress on two. Let's just take a look at the relationships quick. So, resentful here. I should try and maybe fix that a tad. Toby is neutral, mainly. Hopeful there. And then Winnow is doing pretty well. Okay. So if I come in here to Rogues... I could place this on Rogue and Toby. Five relics for each bullseye. Yeah, that's fine. And then... This is another one we could do. One stress, one stress. 
Let's put these dodge tokens on Toby. Then we're good. All right. So we're going we're going here, but uh, just remember we're not going to ignore the hospital. Resignation and death. This land is truly barren. Baboom. Yeah, the game's available today. Don't know what time it unlocks. War. Rewards only. Resignation. Rogue Handle, thank you so much for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the super chat. Time for more pick to the face. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, you're doing a lot of damage here. A lot of damage. Okay, so what are we looking at first? Resistance encounters, assistance here, unknown. Let's kind of just see what our team thinks as we approach. So all three of these guys want to go for assistance. Onward, while there is still time. We do have uh, quite a bit of loathing though, and going to fight these battles reduces that, and that's probably ideal, especially early, because it's uh, we're taking 25% extra flame drain. God, I hate when you get the flame drain. Let's go. I'm going to go straight and just only make Rogue Handle happy here. And we'll have a battle to try and reduce some of that. How are you guys doing? Have you learned anything about the game? I'm sure some of you have gone deep into researching it. There's probably a bunch of stuff on the subreddits. Any cool stuff that you've learned? Tell me. Tell me. Morning, Leandro. Hey, hi. Don't drain my flame. <laughs> Do you know if there's a difference between hospitals and field hospitals? I don't, actually. Okay, these guys want a battle, and so do I, so we're good. Yeah, no spoilers about specific fights. Yeah, no, thanks. I appreciate that. So we did learn yesterday that the drummer, if he does kill himself, which is, you know, nice on one hand, uh, it it adds stress to the party, so we don't necessarily want that. We don't necessarily want that. Uh, what I could do is set up a tracking shot here. This is better for dodge. Uh, it's better for dodge. I think I'm just going to set up my, my duelist advance. Looks like we got the nice little double attack there. So I guess it defaults to to the Plague Doctor's main attack, not just blast for that. He resisted, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's go here and get through the armor or the block, I should say. And then let's drop some blast on this one resist it again these guys have pretty low blight resist right i want to say like 20 percent 30 30 30 all right it's 30 not bad uh now yesterday um <laughs> one thing i had a bunch of people messaging me about was why i was spamming the uh defender on our reposted uh highwayman the reason at that time was because we were trying to fix their relationship and uh, the more we interacted with them, the more it would fix the relationship. We were only doing that in fights where we had the time, so that's not something I would advise generally, but it did help quite a bit, so that was nice. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this down. Holy smokes, that is pretty wacky. No torches in this game, no. no. So we have all of our resistances cut here. We're going to need to start blocking her a bit. It's too bad that that Icker Bomb didn't take because that guy would be toast. He's toast now. He's handled. Uh, let's go ounce of prevention here for some stress. We don't have a round timer. Cooperation is the key. No Vestal in this game. Uh, not that we've seen. 
and we look through the profiles we don't i don't see it unlocking i think the reason for that all of the healing stuff has been a little bit reworked and uh when i really sit back and think about it i i do like this approach so um previously if you have a vest doll you're basically you're basically just um healing the whole time you're just healing 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 no it, you're it's, i don't know it's kind of boring actually now they've made it so that your heals only take place under certain hp thresholds i haven't seen a healing skill that doesn't have a threshold built in that's a big game changer uh if we are healing for more when we're able to use it but i think it adds a little bit more variety and it kind of negates some of the Vestal's skills or skill set. Who knows? It's early access. It could come back in the future, but we'll see. Anyways, let's uh, set up a defender here. Get some blocks. Tim, Wakiza, thank you so much, man. 21 months of support. You're insane, actually. Thank you so much. Are we live, live, live? Yeah, we're quad live, Ken. We're quad live. Okay, so here's an example that goes against what I said, where uh, when we clear this corpse, we heal for 50%. There's no actual threshold there, which is, which is quite nice. Uh, but you need a specific condition to be met, which is having a corpse. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do this. So she gets back up to full there. He's blocking for her. Just do a little refresh there. I just had some dropped frames on my end, so uh, it's not YouTube. It's, it's just my network. But it should be good. Okay. Let's go with another Noxious Blast here. Ignores 30% resist when the target has combo, which we have here. So no Blight resist. And we're hitting that for six turns now. So these guys, holy smokes, we're getting quite strong. Let's go through the block here. Well, that was actually very low damage, very rare, but low enough. Oh, wow. Our damage output after those upgrades is significant. Another combo there. Okay, so if we can, we put the block on our taunted, or guard, I should say, on our taunted enemy there. Down to two. Stress is pretty well managed. Rogue's coming up next. Uh... I'm actually going to go poison darts here so we have more chances at death's door. Plus, we get a 50% extra crit here. Yeah, nasty. It's on cooldown. Let's start. Oh, yeah, crap. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I want to I wanna hit the drummer. Oh, I forgot about hitting the drummer. My bad. My bad. I was in the zone. We're going to take a little stress here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll we'll handle it, I think. Unless we do something major here. Let's ignore this taunt now. Please don't die. Oh, he survived. That's actually huge for us. That's actually huge. Unless he goes first here, which he's not. Okay, we're good. And, well, now he's got the taunt, so maybe not. <laughs> oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um... Do I have a way around this? Yeah, we're probably just going to kill him now. How can I get rid of this taunt? How can I get rid of this taunt without killing him? <laughs> I don't think that I can. I need to do like zero damage. Eh, it's not a big deal. 
we actually still have time to kill him. So if we can finish him off here, then uh, we'll still be okay. You know what? I'm going to poison dart him. I can't Noxious Blast, unfortunately. I could use the Icar Bomb. There is comfort in company. Let's get rid of one stress here. And then I'm going to need, like, a ton of damage. Oh my god, he got it. Watch the Savage speed down. Totally calculated. Now... You might be thinking to yourself, hey, we kind of get a lot of like repeat items. Whispers. We kind of get a lot of repeat items. Uh, why is that? So, because this is like a full roguelike now, and there's like meta progression across playthroughs, as we progress, we're going to unlock access to additional items that will drop in future runs. So, what's cool is. And the, the reason I like these kind of games is that um, the more you play, the more variety you actually see. Cultist encounter. Looks like that's our only option. Question mark. Hospital. Resistance. Hospitals. Hospitals. <laughs> Watchtower at the very end. Kind of useless. And by kind of, I mean... 100%. Was this fight particularly easy or is the game somewhat in the beginning? So this is... We're like... Uh, we're like on our third section. I think. And we just got a bunch of upgrades. So we just kind of power spiked a little bit. Uh, we unlocked six new skills at the start of the stream. Or upgraded six new skills. And so, uh, we're going to be strong. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm missing these. Oh. It's hard to course correct. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to fight. So, Toby wants to battle, battle, and battle. Everybody wants to battle. I love that. No advantages for anyone. This also will help our loathing. So these guys are these little chubby cherubs. They're uh, uh, annoying, but I feel like the evangelists are the ones we, we want to try and focus. Uh, good blight here if we want. And they have a decent amount of dodge. Now she has the trinket for turn start. 25% uh, chance of stealth. Has not triggered yet. We're also dealing weak damage here. So, I think we're going to try and blight something. Did not dodge and got the blight. Absolutely beautiful. Let's stack that. We're already up to 10 blight per turn. Now, we have... We have Loudenum. I don't know if, we're, if we have that equipped on anyone. Set up our repost system here. Okay, so he's got some crit coming in. He might not make it. Or she, or he, or it, or they. The monster. <laughs> this guy, he's hitting so hard today. That's wild. Crush just seems to be critting, like, a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. That's fine for me. Okay, so we're going to just assume... We're going to assume and hope that this... Uh, that this uh, Blight kills here. Oh, you know what? Let's actually do a tracking shot here. We're going to remove their dodge. Still have that crit potential. Lighting this one. What's up, Floss? How you doing, buddy?
Okay, 50% chance to miss this. Did not miss. Then turn Blight. We don't get crit that often, but when it happens, it's rough. Good morning, Trace. Okay. So I think we need to just whack here. Okay, so I hope these guys die. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. We only have one stress here. Let's get rid of it. We're early in this run, so let's keep it keep it tight. Keep it tight. So these guys consistently apply weak. You know what? I'll remove this guy's super dodge. Got some combo there. And we get extra crit chance on combo now. Did not land it. Now, this is only chance-based, and we've been pretty lucky. What are my relationships like here? Resentful. Let's see if I can fix any of that. We have some time. Hey! There we go. There we go. The smallest variable I would love to see the, the inner workings of, like, what are the chances of, of stuff like that actually working? I want more of that, please. So we're just going to set up a take aim here. I'm not going to attack these corpses. We can kill with reposts and crits. These guys attack the front line. We've got the super blocks here. We'll do a little blinding gas here. I don't need to clear these corpses, really. This would add us to stealth, but we'll just start darting. <laughs> Bolster removes horror. Yes, it does. But it's only a... Oh, the, oh yeah. Removes the actual horror, yes. But again, it's only 75%, and I don't think I need to cast it just for this, especially if it's not triggering. But yes, it does. Good block, good block. Okay, round five. See you later. Why do I keep distance in front? You can't use pistol shot that way. Uh, because he moves forward for his repost every time. And then these guys can both operate with most of their skills. Pistol shot is uh, our weakest skill right now. So there's no sense in me uh, forcing it. I don't need to force that when I have Wicked Slice, when I have Tracking Shot, when I have Duelist Advance. So yeah, that's why. A miscalculation, perhaps. Can't really hit anything here. Can't you use Point Blank Shot? We don't have Point Blank Shot, boys. Might be one of the skills he can unlock, but he doesn't have it yet. A breakthrough. How do I feel about the roster of the game currently? Do you mean like this, like this exact grouping that we have? In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. One of the things I I, I talked about yesterday that. Um, still rings true today when I reflect on it is having a run be dedicated to four heroes at a time allows you to really get into a rhythm with those specific heroes and really understand when it's best to use a certain skill when it's not 
obviously you'll still like experiment and make some mistakes and stuff but it really gets you in tune with their synergies um which is quite nice and then in future runs you can experiment um i do like that you can't do duplicate heroes so you can't run like four lepers or anything like that so I, i'm actually a fan i like that i think jester unlocks it at profile three Abates. And when we complete this run today, we'll we'll hopefully be able to see um, what that's like. Okay, can I do any stacking here to fix this? Um, hold on. We're over-encumbered a bit. There's our Laudanum. Bandages, no. Smoke bomb, can we stack that? Let me get rid of uh, one of these trinkets. I feel like this Dark Impulse has just taken up a lot of space. We don't know what to do with it. I am going to try to go not, like, super fast today, but I just want to... Because we don't have to read all these tutorials, I'm going to try to make a little bit more progress than we did yesterday. How did I manage to get a hold of the game? They uh, sent it to me. Is food actually important? Uh, it can be. We haven't been in a situation where we're super low health at the end. Behold, the infinite emptiness of the void. And there's a pretty huge downside. We do. We can take strength, speed, and combat, or we can have them be blind. Let's take strength and speed here. Um, the trade-off of using food is pretty big. You have disease resist dropping. So I'm not a huge fan of it. We're going to tracking shot here to remove this setup combo for big damage. 50% crit extra. So 74% did not land the crit the extra damage. Big resist there. Hey, welcome, Corpress. Good morning. Yeah. Who knew eating mold could be bad for your health? Yeah. Jump in there. Love that. Ooh, okay. Hello. I don't think we've seen that move from them where we get knocked back. We may have resisted in the past, but uh, it's pretty big. Pretty, pretty big. Get the stress down. Empowered. Emboldened. Cooperation is the key. Get some blight here so that we get the death door trigger on their turn. And we'll set up some blocks. Okay, so we're going to have to move you forward, definitely. Mistimed. Is directed. What do I think I'm going to fight at the mountain? <laughs> Honestly, I, I just hope we get to the mountain. After that boss fight we saw yesterday, I can't imagine what the, what the mountain will be like. Ooh, there's a big crit. Hello. Hey, who's carrying my bandages? So let's put it here. Get those bandages on. Impeccably timed. He's got the reposts. Let's put in some damage. We'll probably be able to get a heal up here. The 
yeah, he'll be under the 50%. Suffering begins. We can remove this now with the loud of them. The pulse slows. Sanity returns. Ooh. Got big swings today. Where his relationships again? Neutral, friendly with Toby. You know what? Let's see if we can fix this this brotherhood. Here we go, boys. Here we go. I'm going to move him up a little bit further. Or we could... You know what? Let's tracking shot this. Let's just remove his dodge. Got the combo there. And then he can gain extra block from this because of the combo. So now he's got a bunch of block going. She entered stealth. That's good. So we can ignore dodge. Let's go ahead and... Throw dagger at this dodge target in the back. Winnow can get a heal here. A little help, impeccably timed. Hey, Susan! Thank you so much. Thank you for the membership, Susan. Uh, let's go ahead and heal here. We can Those baby angels have seen better days. These are, these are baby baby demons straight from the depths of hell. Nothing angelic about them. The work continues. Oh, look at this! Look, our team is really bonding. So nice. Hit two on the dodge. That's big. Oof. Uh, I don't need to heal anymore. All positive for the party today. An unexpected find. I came here ready to make friends. All right. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to end up ditching some of these, some of these uh, dark impulses, because I, I I literally don't know how to use them. Uh, uh, and what I'm what I'm thinking has to happen is we need to get a cultist trinket equipped. Distant, vague, distant, indelible, distant, vague. And then this probably, like, pairs up and, like, boosts something, would be my guess. I'm going to ditch some, because I don't need to carry all of these. All right, what are we doing here? Everybody wants to go to the hospital, and so do I. Wait, how much money do I have? 82. Okay, I can get rid of some bad perks there. We're going to fail our... our our math goal here, but it's only one mastery point. We came out of the last run with six. So we can get them another way. We do have a roadblock, though. Uh, round one of five here. These guys are all capable of being incredibly annoying. Set up our reposts. Set up our darts. Let's 
Let's actually go blinding here. Try and mitigate a bit of damage. He's gonna go down to zero there. Might die. The slow suffering begins. Got a lot of bleed happening. Alright, let's use the bandages here. We do have a combo option. We have one repost left. Holy crap. That's insane. Oh my god! People are just getting destroyed today. I hope these guys don't use up all their crit chances before we face something truly nasty. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. You know what we haven't talked a lot about here? Is, the key. is, um... We haven't talked a lot about the sound design, and it's really good. Especially on the, uh, animations. The way that the weapons sound. Oh, steam yourself. Super nice. Building an army. We have a lot of rounds here, so I'm just gonna see if we can get another relationship buff here. There we go. Am While the heart <laughs> still beats, desire They've gone will from, never die. They went from hating each other, literally, like it was like loathsome or something, to amorous. Yeah, of course. Um, I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to clear a corpse so that other people can access this guy a little easier. Amber. Of course they would be. Of course. Lean on me if you have to. We gave him, oh, we gave him damage. See, because our pistol shot's not upgraded, Duelist Advance does more base damage. And, yeah, it's very nice. Oh my god. By confronting the past, we learn to face Full the Full stack future. of Laudanum and playing cards. I like that. Is it Laudanum or Laudanum? I want to say it's probably the latter. Um, we're not seeing any burn yet. Let's just go here. And I'll ditch one anti-venom. I could probably ditch a, a stack of food, honestly. I probably will next. Okay, here's our hospital. So, this would allow us to heal for four pretty good. Let's actually do, um, let's do these first. Is there anything we want at the pharmacy? Some bandages could be nice, actually, but I'm, I'm a bit slot limited. I don't think I'm, I don't see myself buying any of those. Okay. So lost in time and space, we're going to get rid of. Let's get rid of Erudite. I feel like relationship-wise, that could cause more problems. Deathblow resist. We'll get rid of this. And then I'd like to see what happens here. 
I'd like to see what happens when we do this. If, if this locks it in or, or what. I just got to do it on one where I kind of feel like it's not as big of a deal. Let's see what happens if I go to Generous here. Okay, yeah, it does lock it in. They should change this icon, because clearly this looks like you're, you're swapping, right? But it works the same as in the first game, so it locks it in. We locked in not a great one there, but I was just worried that it might actually swap it. There we go. Now we know. For certain. This, if we can take some fights and get some cash, then we can visit more hospitals on this run and lock them in. It's a little bit more expensive to do that, though. They revel in debauchery basing themselves in the face of the end avoid combat combat no we're definitely gonna fight we need cash money all right they got the blocks and we don't care love that Again. That's really surprising at a 30 flight resist. So enemies have a 10% battle advantage chance. Good dodge, good boy. Excellent dodge, big boy. Can't dodge, big boy. Oh, he's gonna crush. Let's go out to prevention here. No round timer. The key. She got the stealth off. Um, let's throw a poison dart here. If it doesn't kill him now, we have another chance when he takes the, uh, light damage. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Got a couple blocks to work through here. Let's hit this one who doesn't have block because he's getting his, uh, extra damage here. Wow. That is... Disgusting damage. <laughs> and he applied the blight. Might actually kill him. Hey, you two. Simmer down. Simmer down. The smallest variable can make all the difference. All right. She's got some, uh, she's got some corpses to heal from. So this is fine. So oh, nice, that skill. Amorous. I should try and get that all the way up there, maybe, but he does have a repost. He could work on his relationship with Rogue a bit here. Maybe we get the proc. He did not. Jeez! Just merely critting like non stop right now. Beautiful. Tried and tested. A bomb to be counted on. Okay. Literally zero stress. Probably the last time I'll ever be able to say that.
gonna set up take aim here. Resist the egg. Look at you. Try this again. of mastery okay so we got stuff to buy trinkets we got some relics and this is just giving us all the loud in them or lot of or low dunham i'm gonna get rid of a stack of food it's done all right let's see what these guys want to do we might let them just guide us here Question, question. I I personally want to go for flame, because we're pretty early moving. and we're only at 54 flame. I'm gonna I'm gonna because we're so low stress, I'm gonna Lost go for the flame. And desperate. They need your help. You have a battle, unfortunately. Um does low flame increase loot chances and stuff? We don't have a lot unlocked, so it probably doesn't really matter. And we got the gargantuan enemies, of course. I mean, why, why wouldn't we? Let's hit the uh, front line with this, because we can stack light on number two here. Go, baby. Huh. You don't see that every day. We got the combo on us. So we'll set up some dodge for that. Benefits for low flame? Okay. Good to know that's different from the first game. Uh, she can clear one of the corpses. We'll just set up a day game here to get the crits. ounce of prevention now there is comfort in company We've got two more rounds but i don't see a huge problem we're gonna clear a corpse here and then he gets the combo benefit here where he gets the block at it now i feel like in the in the first game and correct me if I'm wrong, but when you have this situation where one of your guys are stealth, you can't be directly targeted, that's fine. But I still feel like an AOE attack would hit the stealth unit or, or has a chance to hit the stealth unit. That doesn't appear to be the case here. You can't be directly targeted. And 
every time they've used an AoE when she's stealth, she's she's uh, not getting hit. So it seems like stealth is actually very powerful, which also means it's going to be very powerful for enemies, which I don't love. That's a pretty interesting change. Extra crit here. Yeah, I'll see you later. The means of mastery. Okay, good. You guys find value in having the map up while we're going through here? Just so you remember, like, what we're going for? Helps me. Flames at 42. All right. If you hope to heal, you have chosen Holy wisely. Smokes. So we can trade some relics for 30 flame. It's only six as well. Same here. Yeah, no, we're definitely going to do this. In crisis. No gain is insignificant. Bunch of in items. More mold. <laughs> I guess these in items I should be using too a lot more, hey? Just use them all every every in item except for the food just use immediately oh, I could have ditched this too we'll get rid of that Cyanac uh, I hope I'm saying that right thanks brother appreciate it we are building an army Relationship between Tesla and oh. Two facets of the same stone. These are sweet. Never one without the other. Reminds me of uh, like when you create a, a, a Bond poster in XCOM. It's just a nice little touch. If you don't have space in the inventory, you can't pick stuff up on the road. Yeah, yeah, of course. This guy's new. I think the Widow might be new, and the Urchin might be new. I don't think we've seen these guys before. Okay. Uh, they're all susceptible to Blight. This Urchin, whenever you see someone that's carrying, like, looks like he's got, like, a music box there, you know he's sketchy. This guy probably uh, gives us horror. He looks like the one from the first game. Okay, that's going to be big. I'm going to focus these back too, and then we'll try and deal with this guy soon. Let's set up some, uh, some blocking here. We got five rounds for this. It's doable. We can, uh, he's got decent dodge here. Let's go blinding on these guys. Debuff's pretty low. Nice. Okay, so she acts for her too. Skull toss, I feel... Oh, stun. Okay, 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 okay. Song of Shadows. You know, that's not good. And there's the stealth. And the crit. Okay. So we had some items that reveal stealth, but uh, we weren't using them, and now it's time to throw them back in. Absolutely. Uh, round two of five. Let's set up a take aim here. Light on. Okay, he's the same. 
steady yourself. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna be for two turns, three turns. I think we bolster here. down. I got two more rounds here. I'm going to ounce of prevention this. In crisis, we probably we can can't outpace their, on each other. their stress, but... Ignores dodge when stealth, which we are, but it's also not a ton of damage. Combos. Let's work through it this way. Ouch. He's got hard noggin, right? So he's got stun resist. Still took it. That was a good death blow there, though. So we might have to do a... Um, might have to do a... Tracking shot here. Help this out, but... Have to say. Let's do this because we need some damage. That landed very nice. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. It's round four or five. I'm gonna remove his dodge so that we can reliably hit going into the next. This also is gonna add the combo. So he seems to get this off with like almost every attack. Nice. It's big. He's killable. We have a crit here. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was just at the right time. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, do we have anything to buff death door here? Not really. There's a 50% chance of taking an extra damage. He's still at death door. Come on now. Literally the last Persistence round. Will overcome even the okay. greatest of threats. Highwaymen carry, seriously. So strong. Much powerful. Such wow. Okay, relationships. I don't want to jinx it, but these are the best they've ever been after recovering from the worst they've ever been. Uh, what should we ditch today? Get rid of the coach trunk. How much? I only got 16 relics. That's enough to move to remove one uh, negative quirk. She heals the injuries of others while ignoring her own. So I can get rid of his uh, speed debuff. Get rid of this, I guess. Even the worst habits can be overcome. Let's do it. They stand guard even now. We are hitting a lot Death of lift. random battles and today. Dreaming. Ooh, look at this big boy. Quite the sword you have there, sir. Because we're going to need to de-stress a bit. Nice crit. Way to be. It's a 
little salty. He's stressed. He's irritable. Oh. Oh, this is Bullseye Baron. All right. So uh, <laughs> that answers that, that question. These guys are Bullseye Barrett's. He's going to take 30% extra damage from that. And that is specifically listed in here. Which is weird, but... Life. Try and keep that stress down here. Is the key. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Yeah, he's a li little salty. Empowered. Emboldened. Um, what's his move resist? 40? Uh, let's do this. There's a 50% chance to reduce the stress here, but also we get the super block. There is comfort in company. Okay, from him, which is fine. Okay, he's at half health. We can heal. Oh! Holy crap! That is bad news, bears. <laughs> That was messy. A little help impeccably timed. Jeez. Hey, I have to assume that this kills here, right? I have to. My 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 cheeks are clenched. Here comes Bullseye Barrett. Look at the damage these guys put out. Whoa! That is nasty. I'm going to put take aim here so I can get the dodges. Okay, good. One down. Now, should I block for her? Or should I go damage? Round two. Let's block here. She's marked. Nice stress reduction for you to be there. Okay, now. Now we swing. Conclusion. Backline dark. Take an eight. Another heal here. And he's back in the game. What you're here for round three mm. let's bolster see if we can get some stress off that's good another crit <laughs> of course of course how could him killing the enemy be good for us there is comfort in company So this guy could die from the blight. Let's see if we can get him up here. That's nice. He's not dead. Let's keep swinging until he is. Come on, buddy. Nice. They just had a little quarrel. They're still in love. Don't worry. Yeah, he survived. Okay. He is going to deal less damage. Anxiety forms yeah. insidious. These fears. dudes hit incredibly hard. These dudes hit hard. Okay, so 
So big guy All gone. Problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is uh clear this because we can then bellow for maybe some stress reduction, and then we should be able to land our shot here. He's got increased death flow. Or bolster, I should say, not bellow. Bellow's the offensive one. Ignore 30% death flow. The work continues. All of that for, for four square coins with holes in the middle. Like worth. Okay, now the last time we went to an academic study, it was nothing. <laughs> nothing happened, right? There's some money. A place of research and inquiry. A the unknown. To a once oh, here we go. Career. Hold on a second. So what's... The thing is, what's different here? from last time. Interesting stuff. So, with Toby's option, uh, we lose flame, we scout. We, there's a mixed quirk, so maybe good or bad. And stress damage. Ozzy says avoid. She loses 10 flame, uh, stress mix, mixed quirk, and trinket chance. Do we care about... Hmm. So this one is is more uh, guaranteed. So scouting is there. We know someone's taking stress damage. Here we have a chance at a trinket. Mix. This is more of just a total gamble. And then he says just avoid. Both are losing 10 flame. I think, I think we go Trinket, because maybe it's good. Devout. Amidst the spoils, Ooh. an artifact of unparalleled power. <laughs> oh, whoa. Turn start adds random token. Your coach is laden. Hell yeah. You can carry no more. Who benefits mostly from tokens? I'd say probably our front two, right? I think we'll swap out this 10% HP for that. Right, because he could get any of these. Any of these would be good on him. Especially the dodge block, all this stuff. Could be good on our on Toby as well. I suppose it could be a negative token. I don't know. Maybe. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great. Food barrels, gone. Okay, what's next here? What does the team want? Ozzy? No preferences? Really? Well, uh, the hospital's not good. Because... I have no... I, have, I, I, can, I can maybe cure somebody when we get there. And we probably have a fight along the way. I could go here to reduce loathing, but I could get some money. Or we go question mark and just roll the dice. Chat, what do you want to do? I'll, I'll leave this up to you guys, okay? Type in one in the chat for question mark, two for resistance encounter, our loathing's already zero, or three for hospital. One for unknown, Two for resistance, three for hospital. Yeah, one 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 seems to be overwhelming. I I I would agree with that. I love the little soap opera that happens on the carriage rides. <laughs> oh, it's an outpost. All right. That's still a fight. That's fine. 
Lose flame and don't fight. Lose flame. Stealth and fight. Or just fight. Well. Oh, we all get stealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. That's right. We all benefit from that. Uh, Rogue got a new perk. Was it devout? Can't remember. I think devout, right? Yeah. Okay, what do we want to do here? Let's set up. We don't have a timer. They actually probably can't even attack us. Why don't we just buff here and see what happens? Oh, that removes my spell. Well, sick. <laughs> That's right. I guess as soon as we use something, it's probably gone. <laughs> yeah, classic. Well, forget it. We're in. We're all in. We're battling. We have extra damage here. Ignore block. That's big. That takes him into death door territory. Good dodge. Good dodge. Hit the big boy here. We'll let our grave robber handle the block up front. Okay, we'll probably set up a block for this. Ah, uh, he resisted. Steady yourself. I'll try to remember to kill the drummer here. pretty much have to do this now. Wow. Super resist here. See, now it's weird. Sometimes he likes it, sometimes he doesn't. I guess it depends on his, his mood. He's currently sitting at irritable. Okay, his next attack can be insane. You know what? I'm going to hit the drummer. Start blighting him down. That's 12 damage. Let's defend her, even though she doesn't have the taunt anymore. I can heal her with a. I can heal her up with a corpse. So let's maybe go stress reduction. Cooperation is the key. I like how the Plague Doctor's kind of become this hybrid between the... Holy smokes, this person just survived that. Hybrid between the old Plague Doctor and, and the Jester, where you just kind of spam the stress heal. True Entropy. Oh, yeah, okay. So let's pay attention to this. True Entropy is the name of the trinket, so that added the random token. I want to see if it ever adds a negative. Okay, we've got a block up front that we can attack here with super damage. <laughs> okay. He doesn't like that. Yeah, why would you? Why would you? 
Let's put light here. All right, that's fine. that's fine. You don't like that either. Okay. There we go. Drummer down. Drummer down. Another impediment. Okay, he's like getting really mad at everybody for taking kills. Here. I could have maybe added combo there, but we have other plans. Let's try some blind. Got it. 50%. Well, that he likes. All of those gone. Mega heal. Okay, so uh, did, I didn't catch. Did the did the thing pop up there? Did true entropy come up and then give us the weak attack? I didn't catch if true entropy popped. Okay, it was. Okay. So it's cool. It can give negative. Slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negatives. But this one's specific to those guys. So let's say seven. For him, vulnerable would be bad. Weak is not great, but not horrible. So there's still more positives than negatives. Eh, we'll see. We'll see if it's good. The means of mastery. Okay. Got some decent relics off that. Decent relics. Okay, you got two question marks coming up. The roads are safe, though. Now, hold on. We're not going to be going to the watchtower. We definitely want to go left here. See if we can up our flame. Minus flame for food. Minus flame for food and mixed loot. And food. Okay. Well, that's not great. <laughs> We're going to go down to five. Which is pretty bad, but nothing I can do about it. Abandoned or forgotten. It is all. Uh, the Icker Bomb is nice. Icker Bomb is nice. I I wonder if I can stack that, because we are carrying one. No, you can't. It's too it's too powerful. This I can only stack to two. Let's get rid of this and this. If we get to total darkness, we get an attack. Um, I Destiny have to go here, so that's not good. Be denied. Maybe we can get there before our flame goes out. Ah! Hustle! Where's the NOS? Oh, here it is.
Okay, so we got gargantuan versions of these guys, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad. We've seen worse. Mistimed. Misdirected. Try and deal with the tall ones first. Okay, we got big damage here if we want it. I'll take that. Uh, we have a bunch of these. There is comfort in company. Let's drop that in. Plus 30% chance of negative affinity changes. We do get... Okay, so we do get a lot of extra crit here. So do the enemies. And they have a 3% chance per round of getting guaranteed crits. Let's go ounce of prevention here because we're blind. Cooperation is the key. <laughs> the slow suffering and they have a begins. nasty double attack, eh? So she resisted it there. He's de-stressed there a bit. Ten. Okay. Let's be swinging. Resist, buddy. Good resist. The Tobes. Mistimed. Oh. Blind. Misdirected. Tourette's get blocked. A miscalculation, perhaps. Yeah, he's got the super dodge. Clear the bleed. It's going to take this for four turns. It is very annoying. But also, killing this would be nice. Now, this is a heal for our Suffering grave robber if we need that. The bond. Oh, While he's got two lovers. Beats, desire will never die. We have a group of polygamists. Okay, so now we want to get rid of this. Let's do a little bolster here. Stealth, which then ignores some dodge. You know what? I think I'm just going to absinthe so that we get extra dodge here. We have repost coming. We have blocks here. This crit I'm going to try to avoid. So let's just set up a few dodges for us. Oh, we got the stealth trigger there, too. That actually all worked out nicely. Good block. Steady okay. yourself. Not bad. We'll bolster this again. The pulse slows. Sanity returns.
I'm gonna set up pay game now. There's no timer, so let's abuse it. A breakthrough. That'll do. There is comfort in company. Okay, we got two crits coming up here. Well, if this guy doesn't get any dodge, it's going to be rough. For him. Oh, that's nice. Should we just slam this one in front? I think so. A brilliant conclusion. That gives his crit and dodge, okay. So he's critting, but it's half. True Entropy did what there? We should definitely be attacking first. Oh yeah, these guys are pretty quick. These guys are 10 speed. Dang. This is it. Dang. Dodge. True entropy adding taunt. All right. A righteous she go. Big dodge gone. Variable See ya. can make all the difference. Let's just go for a blind. We'll see if we can't get rid of most of this stress. Do a take aim. We'll go into bolster. Get the 50%. Nice. Got it on both. We're at zero stress. Empowered. Emboldened. Crit coming in. <laughs> that was close. Experience. Look at that. Painful. Is the greatest teacher That's not so all. bad. Going down to zero darkness, we take a fight. We got mastery from it. We got relics. We got a dark impulse trinket and 40 flame. That's pretty good, actually. If, if we guarantee get even just the mastery benefit, if we guarantee that every time... That's pretty solid. I don't have any bandages, hey? I'm considering maybe putting in some bleed resist. And honestly, <laughs> I think this turn start trinket, we tried it. It's fine. But she currently is only benefiting from it with thrown dagger. And it's it's or the one skill that we don't have upgraded. It's not that strong. It does ignore guard, which could be, I mean, that who knows? Against the right enemy, that could be huge. If you have some weakling that's being guarded by a big dude. Maybe I just keep it?
for these fine people. Oh, wow. Okay. Three stress. Now, does that apply to everyone or just Winnow? Relic loot for flame. Coach equipment. A bunch of loot. Or here, we don't have to give anything. We just get flame and some mixed loot. That seems pretty good. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. Okay, we're going up to the Guardian now. Uh... I think this is where we're going to get three options, right? Three rooms. And we're in a pretty decent spot. So I guess, depending on how the early fights go, we, we try and go all the way through. Our, our light is good as well, so, like, enemies aren't getting super buffed. You think there's an extra slot on the wagon? We have a trophy slot and we have a pet spot, but these slots are full. So, yeah. And I think what I'm what I'm gonna do if we get the opportunity is um, if we get another storage trunk ever, I won't ditch it, and I'm gonna replace this strong. Well, maybe not. Actually, sorry, I thought this was the one for stacking. Now uh, we keep the keep the relic stacks. All right. Let's do it. This dude? This dude needs to die. Oh, he's not the one. He's not the one. He's not Bullseye Barrett. Still not great. Landing. True entropy, nice. That's cool, I'll take it. could die off this. Brilliant, my love. Yes, I like how you stuck your dagger on me and it's back. Uh-oh. <laughs> fist. Yes, he should be. Well, time to protect your man. He's got a minus two speed. So we should be able to get another heal in. Okay, this guy survived, so we'll see. I could have... Actually, I should have probably just taken that swing. I can't rely on this. Uh, we will clear a corpse here because that also clears our one stress. And then we can do another heal. A up little front. help impeccably timed. Taking literally zero damage. Your entropy knight. The smallest okay, variable not bad. Can not make bad. all the difference. Let's keep going. 
infectious enemies. Okay. More Arbliss. Got the lowest end of the damage scale there. We're gonna chew through some of these blocks. Excellent work. The slow suffering begins. At the end of this run, whether we survive or not, when we get to the inn, um, I'll give away some codes. Because I think the game is unlocking right away. Not get applied. It hurts my feelings. Oh. All right. So these guys could die. Yeah, the animations are insane. I still like what I like is when you when you pick a skill, it's it does like a setup animation before you actually execute. It's really nice. These guys could both die. I'm going to set up a take aim here to get some crits and some dodge. We can hit third position from here. A new subscribe. Oh, yeah, Stay there we yourself. go. Nice. We are building a Yo, Ben Smith. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate the, the membership there, buddy. On to the next. Piercing Bolt is nasty, eh? No dodge, but... A righteous action. Good. Where's he at here? Okay, so he's below 50, so we can heal this off and get a, a true heal off it, too. Or I should say we can remove this and get a true heal off it. <laughs> That's funny. Love how it gives the heal to Winnow. He's literally bleeding. A slow dissection of Dankus dungeon. An unavoidable dungeon. Ooh, the Dankus dungeon. Holy smokes. Now heal him. Now heal Winnow. No? What the frick? Now he'll winnow. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let's block winnow here. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Okay, we're gonna clear a corpse. Get healed up. Let's actually reduce a little stress here. A lot of them. And we'll set up a take aim for some dodge. So anyone anyone this person attacks here is getting pretty much intercepted. True Entropy added dodge for us. It's good. Um, I won't be able to do any more heals. So we may as well go for the kill. The smallest right. variable can make all the difference. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, there we go. 
If Dark Impulse is equipped, which are those weird trinkets that we have, this gives 50% bleed resist, which in this forest area seems really nice. Okay, so he's new. He's got tentacles. Love that. Deacon, he's cosmic. They're all cosmic. Cherub is fast. Cherub has no death blow resist. I'm just seeing that for the first time. This guy's got pretty high death blow resist. Not a lot of resistances, though. Dang. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. It means a lot. Thank you. Bernardo, thanks for the super chat. And Tony, thank you for the membership. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, thing is, we kind of know what these guys do. Uh, this one is annoying, but this guy, I think I, I got to just pound him. Got to pound this guy. Pound this guy as hard as I can. As hard as I can. Now, I think it would be good to mark him because we can follow up with extra crits from her. He would get extra blocks. I'll start with some poison dart. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Oh, and I'm going to Icker Bomb here. Excellent work. That's free blight, baby. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this blight right now. 15 a turn. Are you joking? 15. Let's go loud in him here. Ugh, this is a tough call because Cherub's going to act next. Um, if I take aim, I go faster, I can dodge, and I can crit. Okay, I'm going to start with Duelist. That was really nice. We have some dodge. We have repost. Or is on. True Entropy giving speed. That's good, actually. I think... Let's start using some of these on the bosses. Target would have times two blinds. Landed. <laughs> and then let's uh let's just set up a little block for now nah, you know what let's just hit let's just hit the flesh warps melee attacks okay Oh, you have a I hate everything attack. Isn't that fancy? Mobilize I'm actually fine with. This is Minus 50% damage taken from melees. Huh. Well. Shall I block or shall I just go for this? Exalting unspeakable cosmic forces. Uh, a new subscriber. Come steal yourself. Let me see if I can smoke bomb this guy. He's good. He's gonna take less damage here. He could die off this off this proc. He does have 53% death resist. So I will attack him melee with this too. If I can get him under. I'm just going to go for it. Oh my god. Holy smokes. That's something else. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's have to prevention this. Comfort in company. Oh, it's ranged attacks. Wait, did it swap? Did it swap? Doesn't matter. On death's door. So what is he at here? Is that 
This ignores 30% of that. Oh my god. Oh, he's just a he's a beast. There you go. A new There you go, big boy. There you go. I uh, just hear Wayne June just slamming me. Thank you guys so much for building the army. <laughs> Thanks. I'll I'll catch up in a second. Okay. Now we're back to just some regular dudes. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Let's bolt here. here. He's weak. He's weak and blind. I'm going to clear this corpse. I don't want any weird shenanigan boss corpse reanimation stuff happening. Let's get rid of the super it's dodge. Timed as directed. I've lost many, but I won't lose you. Crit heal as well. Don't see that every day. Okay, can we kill this round so we get to use that? A new subscribe. Nope. Steal yourself. We are building an army. We only have two stresses, so we can handle that at the end pretty easily. Okay, so now he ticks down from that directly. Death door. There's no way he resists three times in a row. We have a crit here too. There we go. The work continues. Nice job, squad. Holy smokes. Okay. This confirms our theory about the dark impulse. There's no reason for us to carry that many dark impulses. I do hope that they implement something for all this extra stuff that we carry. I feel like um, just throwing stuff away is kind of a weird way of doing it. So maybe there'll be like an economy system at some point. Food gone. Increases maximum HP till next in. That's really good. We're going to pretty much be using all of this, I think. I guess depending on the area that we're going to. So these forest areas, there's a lot of bleed. Keep that in mind. Get rid of some medicinal herbs. What am I carrying? You can carry something. A lot of them's pretty good just to get rid of stress. If nothing else. The Icker Bomb. The Icker Bomb, I feel like, okay... Let's save that for bosses, right? Like, I see a reason to... If I'm not going to use it. Bandages here. Smoke bomb. Get rid of the milk. And we ride! To the end. That was good. We destroyed that guy. Yo, 
Winnow's here. Hey, Winnow, you're you're doing really well. The mountain. We the roaring heart does much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. So, stay a while and listen. Heal to 25%, 15% chance of positive affinities. Didn't do the hospital thing, which is fine. So, hopeful, amorous, respectful, inseparable, devout, amorous. We reached the hearth. Ozzy and Rogue became unfriendly. And then these guys all gained a quirk. Okay. Necrophobia, natural eye. It's good. So, we max out at three slots. And now we're at risk of any of these triggering. Natural eye is very good. Slugger on her is very good. I want to lock in Slugger as well. He got this Necrophobia. I'd probably look to maybe lock this in. This is pretty good. So if he goes to Death Door, at least he removes all his stress. Slow Hand for the Man-at-Arms. Not great, not bad. It would be nice to have him a bit faster so he could set up an earlier block. And then nothing here. Okay. We'll keep those two together. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Ooh, unwavering standard is very nice. At the start of combat, you could 75% chance you start with a super block. Now, it's only the start of combat. It's good. It is good, but... I guess the question is, what what would we replace there? True Entropy has been pretty nice to us, actually. That seems to be working. Extra damage here is nice. 10% HP is not a lot. This one, I kind of feel, is underwhelming. Sneaker standard. Speed here is nice on Winnow. And we haven't seen this trigger yet, but I feel like when it does, that could be good. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I need to buy any of these, honestly. We have a lot of baubles, I know. But that's life. We got One seven masteries. When survival demands it. I think we can upgrade literally everything else. We have one, two here. Three, four, five, six. Se I can almost upgrade everything else. Uh, if I upgrade the absence, it gives her the super dodge, the 75%. I will take the daggers here now make them a little bit more valuable. Extra crit, ignores the guard, ignores the the uh, dodge when we're stealth, and the target's marked, we take it. I think incision will be the one that I don't upgrade right now. Blinding gas, good. Rampart, we can apply stuns when they're marked. Uh, I could see this coming in handy from time to time. We haven't seen a lot of enemies with repose, but we saw them starting to add some crits there. Stuns on Mark here, too. Let's do his pistol shot. So he can apply um, repose against combos. We'll upgrade flashing daggers as well.
Game is live. Go ahead, buy it. If you guys are going to buy it, I would love if you could use my link and creator code. That would be very nice. It's the link in the chat. That would be super cool. I'm going to do a giveaway here right away as well. I'll have uh, a few codes to hook you guys up with. So if you want to wait to see if you win, that would be cool too. We'll do that right away. I think we'll take this absinthe one here. Okay, so everyone's pretty pretty well tanked right up. Let's do our in items here. High chance of improving affinity. Who needs that? Rogue handle and you. This swap lazy eye. Yikes. We got natural eye and lazy eye. Okay. Good. Oh, we're at the mountain. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Um, we'll give bleed resist to Toby. Increase maximum HP to targets. We're going to go to these two. Playing cards. Minus two stress. And we need blight resist. Looks like Aussie. And then do I feed these guys a bit? I think so. This heals him quite a bit. All right. So, uh, how do we use your referral? Um, it, there's a link in the description of the video. Uh, the first line, I think. And it's also been in chat a few times. But if you just buy the game from Epic using that link and the creator code Christopher Odd, then uh, it helps out the channel a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, in terms of codes... My only ask is that you guys have um, Discord so that you're able to send me a, a DM. So I'm going to give away uh, five codes right now for you guys. And if you want to just drop your name in the chat, we'll take a few minutes to do this. So... In the chat, just say, just say yes, or I want it, or anything like that. And then make sure that you're on Discord, preferably mine, so that you guys can send me a, a private message. And if you win, you're going to send me a private message on Discord with a screenshot of you logged into YouTube. So that I can verify that it's you. Okay. Good luck. I'm just gonna give it like 30 seconds or so, and then I'll I'm just gonna go through the list randomly and we'll we'll pick. And I wanna say thanks again to uh, to Red Hook for giving these extra codes. That's super cool of them. And thanks to you guys for the ongoing support over the years to put us in a position where we can do these code giveaways. You don't need to send me a DM on Discord until you win. If you're not in the Discord, um, you should join now. Odd.gg slash Discord. I wish I honestly I wish I could give every one of you a code. I really really do. <laughs> and if I could, I would. But we'll have we'll have five lucky winners.
Can we get feet picks instead? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, sure. All right, let me see if I can catch some here. Uh, so the first person that's going to win is Mark Fulmer. Mark Fulmer. Send me a Discord message and show me that you're logged in as Mark Fulmer. Do not send me a Discord message until you've been selected for winning. Mark Fulmer, first up. Congratulations. Uh, next winner. We're going to do the Game Dome guy. Congrats. The Game Dome guy. Send me a PM on Discord. Showing me that you're logged into YouTube under that name. Thank you so much. Congratulations, guys. You're going to be slaying demons in no time. Uh, handles. I'm playing on exper or I'm playing on on the normal build. I don't know what the difference is between experimental and normal, so I'm playing on the normal build. Uh, next up, we have Holden Rogers. Congratulations. Holden Rogers. Excellent job. I got two more to pick from still. <laughs> Next up, we have Phaser921. Congrats, Phaser. Nice to see you again, man. Phaser921. Excellent job. Congratulations. And last but certainly not least... We're going to give it to the ninth faith. Congratulations, guys. The ninth faith. So once again, here are the winners. Mark Fulmer. The Game Dome guy. Holden Rogers. And Phaser921. Congrats, everybody. I wish I could I wish I could give everybody a code. How sick would that be? I wish I could. That would be outstanding. So once again, the instructions the instructions are to uh, join the Discord, send me a PM showing that you're logged into your uh, YouTube account and I will set you up. And let me just give these away, and then we'll continue our run up towards... I guess we're at the mountain, which is pretty unbelievable. Okay, so two are gone. Just waiting on Mark Fulmer, Holden Rogers, and the Ninth Faith. You guys will have a, a few minutes to, re to message me on Discord with your uh, screenshot, and then we're going to get going. If I don't hear from them right away, then they can message me later, and I'll, I'll hook them up after the stream. 
And then again, if you guys are buying it, uh, if you're going to buy it anyways and you want to support the channel, if you use my creator code, Christopher Odd, that helps a lot. Uh, hold in the Discord name. You go to odd.gg slash Christopher Odd. You can join the Discord and then you'll be able to message me that way. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for the ones that, that have given the code. I appreciate that. Or that have used the code. That's very kind. Thank you so much. So basically, DD2 is now roguelike. Yes. 100%. Yes, yes, yes. My code again is Christopher Odd, all one word. Thanks, guys. And we're going to get going onto the mountain straight away. Thank you guys so much. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, Maltaramus. So you run four characters per run. Uh, each run is split into, I think, four or five sections. And then as you progress, you unlock uh, higher profiles. I'm excited to see how... how like. I don't know if we're going to go straight up to a higher profile from here or, or what. So I'm very curious to see what happens. But uh, then you unlock additional trinkets, skills, everything. Okay. Almost done with the codes. The boss is a nail biter. I'm excited. I haven't seen anything about him. I, I know nothing of the mountain. Like, literally no clue what's going down here. Very pumped about it. Uh, run is supposed to be about five hours, Cass. Uh, but my first day, because we read every single bit of tutorial, was uh, quite a bit longer. So I imagine a run you could do in about four hours if you're going quick, not talking. Deleting items from your inventory helps a bit with profile EXP. Is profile EXP called hope? Is that what is that what causes that? Maybe that's what hope is, because we've seen things where you can gain like 200 hope by doing the challenges, but we don't know what that is yet. Uh, yeah, Aaron, I only stream on YouTube now, man. Yeah, I do. I do remember Boogerwood, of course. A great name, because I say the word Booger weird. My creator tag is Christopher Odd, Peter. All one word. What do I think we're going to fight? I don't know. Some type of, like, abominable snowman. <laughs> I have no clue. I I'm ready to... Swing it. I'm just ready to die. I'm, I'm committed to death. 
All right, all the codes are gone. Thank you guys so much and congratulations. That was that was awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, enjoy the game. Santa, yeah, it might be Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what happens? What happens after you combo? Or after the run is over? Don't know, but we're gonna go there now. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Well, I should actually hold on. Hold on. I, like I should just conventional fare. Okay. But fairly priced. I'm just gonna buy this because I have a lot of baubles. Um, I have some empty slots. Now, what's going to be more valuable? I actually think that because we don't have a ton of money, it the might be in our best interest. Away. Plan accordingly. Might be in our best interest to just get more slots at the cost of relics. But then... This is 40, because, and ugh, I kind of want to save some money because maybe we hit a hospital or who knows. So maybe I just stop buying there. Yeah. Buying, yeah, actually, yeah, buying in bus. Does that help us here? I guess, yeah, we could spend it right now. Yes, 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 yes. We used Invigorating Stew already. Let's buy another one. Uh, burn Resist could be a thing. We haven't seen Burn yet. Uh, and then we can buy Bleed Resist here. We can give this to everybody. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Yeah, good call. Strength buff. Okay, Something sick. Yeah, that was, that's a great call. That's exactly what we should do. Especially right here. So, um, max HP. These guys are pretty tanky. Maybe I should give it to these back lines. Just to bring them up a little bit more. Strength buff minus stress. Chance of positive or negative. Two recipients. I think maybe these two. For damage. Nice. And we got the positive buff there. Uh, bleed resist. We have 50 on Aussie, 60 on Winnow, 50 on Rogue, and 95 on him because of. Truly, oh, because of the relationship. The dankest dungeon. <laughs> You're welcome, Game Dome. Thanks, man. You didn't have to do that. Thanks, though. Congratulations again. Enjoy. Okay. Mm, so his bleed is good. So basically everybody except for him. Bleed resist. Bleed resist lead resist and then we got a burn resist i mean let's just see who's low 50 60 50 70 let's give it to our frontline guy here sick now do i want to drop i'm a little concerned about dropping disease resist a lot we got 60 disease resist here because we have no way of cleansing that right there's nothing we can deal with diseases yet, but we haven't seen it either. Let's heal a bit there. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. To the mountain. Look, these guys look trustworthy. I'm scared. Question mark. We probably unlock better food at higher profiles. I can imagine. Oh, here at last, we the great go. Cigarette. Temple of failure and That's regret. Helpful.
no map. 20 leagues to the end. Oh my god, look at this. So sick. A beautiful illusion that was the world. Fragmented and undone. Okay, we got some cultists. This is good. We can reduce our uh, loathing. Add vulnerable to them. Yep. Oh, hello. Tentacle Boy is back. He resisted the vulnerable. This is... Is this the same guy? Cardinal? These guys have dodge. And they're vulnerable. So our next hit should be something damage-wise instead of this. I think let's try blinding on him. Did not work. Lead resist. Light resist. Burn resist. Holy crap. Holy smackers. That's good. Okay, so that shuffles him back, that brisk bedevilment. Set up our repost here. Okay, he got speed from entropy. I wonder if I should set up a block. I could put him in to hold the line. He'll get double blocks. And we get some damage. Let's do that. Now our positioning is much stronger. Uh, True entropy gave us weak. Weak. Okay, well then, let's take this and block with it instead. Now we got super blocks. We have some dodge. It's pretty tanky. He's also... He's taking... He's taking a lot here for the team. Get that blight going. So he's at 10 per turn. Oh, he gives vulnerable. We have something that can remove that. Um, I think I'm going to do take aim here to give us some dodge on this. Guys, death blow resist. Excellent work. Oh, that's big. Not dodging that. I got to imagine I want to come out of here as, as high health as possible. Probably more than normal. Death blow resist only at 33. He does need another little tick of damage. More than a little tick. Hello. Double diamonds. This is a tough one because I do want to do a stress reduction here. We have a lot of loud in them that I could use. This also gives us some resistances in case he doesn't die. Uh, when does she go next? We'd have a bounty hunter attack here. This would add the damage over time. 
Uh, let's do this. Let's give some of those buffs. Company. We saw the all the random damage from him. Um, we get the extra crit chance here, so if possible, we go to Death Door right now. Um, and then we apply the dots. But it's the same argument with him, actually. Let's put him there now, so that on his turn, he gets another, another tick. Okay, that works for me. Oh, he survived. Ooh, big shuffle. Okay. 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 23% now for him. Uh, we're blind here. Oh, we landed it. Man, their death door is just like happening. has no death door resist or death blow resist people have to attack here I'm fine with that we have one block he could die i i kind of want to keep this guy alive so we can heal off this corpse let's bolster this Nice, he's gone, okay. Let's do a lot of them here. I don't want this cherub to die just yet. It's gonna act again. Like knowing you owe me one. Okay, so she's gonna clear a corpse here and heal up. And now we can go for the kill. About as good as it can be. I could maybe go. He says speed nine. Let's do one more bolster here. See if we can get rid of that last bit of stress. We got one of them. Any other possible possibilities of healing here? She's up to full. I think we just go. The work continues. Yeah, you don't want to skip turns. If you skip turns, it adds stress. Very, Those very bad. Whispers. You're better off moving. You're better off like swapping positions at least. Okay, this looks bad, whatever this is. Seems fine. Yeah, driving heals you slightly. Not a lot though. So this applies vulnerable. Or we can be, or we can all start with dodge. Let's go vulnerable. Oh. Okay. The deacon and the cardinal. The whole church is here. That's great. 51, 57, 3 speed, 5 speed. Uh, Deacon's the one we just saw, right? Or maybe not. Which one hit everybody? Yikes. 
50% extra damage from the next hit. I think it was Deacon. Nice. Oh, we got the double whack too. Love that. Love a good double whack. That you're not expecting. Slow you know. dissection. An unavoidable. Oh, here he's end. getting extra strength too. <laughs> Melee attacks minus fifty. Okay, so that's the immobilize. I gotta see what happens, like what... Oh, they both attack everyone. Sweet. <laughs> he, he only resisted that likely because these guys can't be moved. So it's a weird synergy that they have. This will not move him, but he'll stay here and he'll set up his repose. thing that came up and said boxing gloves oh boxing gloves was the in item wasn't it yeah five percent for strength at the start of a round holy moly okay we gotta watch our stress he took some burn here First time we've ever seen that. Let's go ounce of... Let's actually do... Uh, let's do laudanum. And then we'll do ounce of prevention here. In crisis, I'm okay with him taking that small amount of burn. Upon each other. Cooperation is the key. Death blow at 33 for him. Death blow at a hundred. So now I've got a couple of things we could do. I think setting him up to take a really big hit from vulnerable and crit chances with like pick to the face could be could be decent. But is that is that dilly dallying a bit too much? Seven to thirteen damage because of the vulnerability. I'm going to add it. See if this adds the blind. Yeah, he's got everything. Now I still need to clear this corpse to really get a good shot at him. So I'm gonna do a take aim now. I'm gonna clear the corpse with her. He's gonna act, but he's got all these problems, so I think we might be okay. Because this is what I really want to line it up for, but he's not in the right slot. We could do this, but the damage is just so much lower. 4 to 10. 82 to crit. So let's bring him up. And then we'll do a bolster here. There is comfort in company. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that's right. It only lasts the one round anyways. That's right. The vulnerable's gone. Oh, no, wait. Wait, why did the vulnerable leave there? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, so we kind of wasted the vulnerable, but we still have combo. Got rid of it. I, mean, I, I didn't play that exactly how I wanted. Hollow vessel purges their debuffs. Okay, yeah. There we go. Ooh, well. That's a good heal target. Welcome relief from caustic agony. That's one of those situations where you, sometimes you try to manipulate a little too much. He could die here, but he's got this. Yeah, okay, he resists it. So he takes weak instead. Minor damage, so shuffle. Now the question is, do I kill here or do I try to do some stress relief? I think I'm going to try to do some stress relief because he's got this. Let's see what the turn order is and go from there. Hmm. I'm not going to have Bellow. I don't know if Willow has cooldown or not. Heal to full. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. He's gone. Let's take a look at our inventory Below here. See if I need to, like, replenish anything. Look at all these relationships on Winnow. Dang. So I got one lot in him there one there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna stack these. Bandages and blind. Maybe chalk, maybe chalk dust? Like, may, like if somebody if somebody stealth here, like, uh, we don't know. Burn salve, we've seen. You we can cure blindness. So... Medicinal herbs heals anything. Oh yeah, I want to take my Icker Bomb for sure. Let's do that. And then Ozzy's got the smoke. I think that's good. We have Chalk Dust in case we see a surprise enemy there. So let's do this. Uh, we're missing the road. We're out of road. Our the cart's flying. is revealed. Beyond, only infernal nihility and non-existence. Oh my god. What are we doing? It's a brain. What the? What? 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 You cannot use healing skills or items.
Huh. Okay. So the way I'm interpreting this is each of these things are probably going to block us from doing something then. So if I kill off the padlock of wasting, then I can probably start healing again. But I don't know what regret would be, lamentation, or despair. They have no death blow resist. And then we have a and then there's then, then there's a brain. Uh, they have pretty high well this guy has pretty high blight resist. Of course. So maybe I just try and kill, like, what I can. Just put out as much damage as possible. Yeah, about that. Resistances could be good. We don't know what these guys are doing. Blinding could be decent. Their debuff is us at 40. This guy's only got 10 blight resist. Got a double whack there. Good thing our relationships are strong. Got that going for us. I'm going to Icker Bomb. Get it out there. Get it going. Set up reposts. I can't heal him anyway. Paralyzing fear. That's a stun. Good dodge. Good dodge. Removed all dodge. We're vulnerable. Hey. Put the blind here. I feel like some damage reduction could be good, especially because vulnerable is going to hit. Forward three. Get some damage. Gets two blocks. Or we could do this. Oh, yeah. Let's bolster. We're going to get the block, remove vulnerable, and maybe remove the stress. Denial of reason. Oh, check this out. It switches. Okay. Interesting stuff. So now we can't use stress healing. Okay. But now this, this one's gone. So we could heal. Okay. 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 Good. Good. Now I could use the ounce of prevention. Uh, it says. But I would only get the resistances. Which is still not bad. Anyways, let's stack blight here. A slow dissection. This guy's tanky. Holy smoke. An unavoidable end. I'm going to go take aim for some dodge and some crit. Did True Entropy just, like, remove our block? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to set up a block here. He got the stun even with he's got hard noggin, doesn't he? Yeah. Still took it. Oh. Blight, blight, blight. 21. Good block, my friend. Good block. Hey, 
Hey, how come he's not taking the blight damage there? What the hell was that? Did he not take the blight damage there? Now I can't even attack. I can't use melee skills. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, that's a free action. Okay, I didn't know that was a free action. I mean, I could... Okay, two things we could do. We could add combo, but I can't add it to any targets I really want. I really just want to focus this guy. I'm going to, going to go more take aim. Oh, it looks like... Okay, so it might cap at three. And maybe two for crit. Go laudanum. So let's think about this. Even if I add this, he's going to take a little bit of damage. Let's say he takes three. So he goes down to 34. This would go up to 27. This would still need to proc twice. Uh, but I'm but I have the bounty hunter next. Let's, let's, let's do it. I was thinking about healing his bleeding, but he's got a lot of HP. Oh, yeah, frick, I can't use the... I can't use the melee attack. <laughs> oh, I love it. A slow dissection. That's enough. That's enough. An unavoidable end. That's enough. 31 on 30. Inspiration unites the hopeful. Oh, Drent P gave him dodge there. Nice. Lethality Good thing that that large. melee block doesn't block repose. Denial of reach, so no. Okay, so no ranged. Okay, now I'm seeing. Now I'm seeing what's going on here. Okay, he, he has no... None of them have death blow resist. So this guy's dead. According to my calculations. So let's go take aim here. Start hitting this one. I can actually heal here. This is great. Okay, three stress from that. Holy smokes. So, bolster is considered a ranged skill, even though it doesn't. It's only for your team. It's a bit weird. So this guy should die on this turn. Come on, give him some stress reduction there. No, wrong guy! No corpses either. Nice. Of fortitude is gonna be, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, we know the pattern. We're gonna crit here. I'm gonna take this guy because he's got the highest blight resist. We'll blight the other one. Uh,. That's a bit scary, hey? Here Let's do a little stress reduction company. here. Might regret that.
5245. We're gonna try and blight this boss guy. We have a crit here. Excellent work. That'll do, Piggy. That'll do. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, we need to heal now. No stress healing. All right, that's fine. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, now she actually is going to get a heal. She's going to get a heal from Absent. So... I could heal here, or I can apply Blight to this guy. Let's heal while we can. This thing should be dead soon, but... That's a little scary. She's she's below 25. Okay, I need 15 damage. I gotta set up a block here. Gloves triggering. So no range now, no range, no range. Close. Okay, the healing one is gone. Continue. Now you know after this. The brain's gonna just do something nasty. Isn't it? Weird. This is only. This is just a tease. Nice dodge. Okay, now, if I have any items, I gotta be spending them. I want to change your position, so let's use a hold the line here. got the guard there. That's fine. Resisted it. Okay. Mm. Should I stress heal here? Ugh. this on. That's 10 damage a turn now. Four to eleven damage or two to five plus more blight. More blight. So now this thing dies on the next turn. I don't have to worry about it. Oh wait, I do. I need one damage on him. That's annoying. Oh, look at that. Thank you for the help. A righteous action. Another clutch dodge there. Okay, no stress healing. Well, all right. It's honestly too bad that we don't have corpses. <laughs> That's 
not great. Can't use stress reduction. Defend Winnow here. She can heal even if she doesn't have corpses. We could do stress reduction now. I think we should, because we don't know what's happening. We don't know what's coming. Seven to 11, 44. He's only got six blight. I'm going to take aim to get crits and dodge and all that fun stuff. me later sweet thing <laughs> of course of course true wrench B. it looks like it gave vulnerable but didn't actually take Now what? In our path. Now what? Yeah, those are just the shackles. Now it's actually big Each brain time. Milestone makes the next road just a little easier. What? Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. What? Uh Okay. How do I push on to the inn? Hello. I'm holding W. Oh, this is a bug. No, you can't, I'm not, I can't move forward. No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Hold on. I'm just seeing if I hold W here if I'm actually moving, but I'm not even. Okay, let's say main menu here. Let's see what happens. I'm sure, I'm sure we're safe. Oh, look. That's it. There should be a profile credit stream. Okay, okay. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It probably would have brought us to here to show us all of this advancing. Because we were at one before, and we've gone straight to six, which is wild. So that was our first ever run, and uh, pretty successful. But my profile is up to six, so let's check our unlocks here. So we got flapjacks, which is okay. Finally, we got food that doesn't suck. Basically, that's huge. Glimmer of hope, uh, fifteen flame combat item. That's huge. Crow's nest. 15% scout chance. Coach upgrade, maybe. Griddle coach upgrade. Produces flapjack, so you can make food as you're going. 20% bleed resist. 20% blight resist. 20% burn resist. Hail draft. 15% max HP. 2 speed. And then we've got cholera. Minus 50% healing. Master of the sprawls advantages. Sprawl is an area, right? Selfish. Put its first interest first. Man, I'm very happy with that. First run, everybody lived. Uh, got a lot of stuff. Huge profile. This must be hope, I guess. Hellion is unlocked. We also got, um, spoiler, the runaway. New, new, uh, new class. 
minus two stress, plus bleed resist, restores 10 HP, stale bread. So we're seeing a lot of different food items. Hellion only, uh, rank one damage. Grave robber only, self on crit, extra action. 25% to get an extra action if you crit. Tracker's map, 100% scout location for layers. Shrine map, 100% scout chance for forgotten shrines. Highway only. If you miss, you get crits. Eh, not bad. I'm not banking on misses, though. So maybe that's good against certain enemies. Jester only on kill. Extra action, 33%. When does the Jester unlock? Nine. Interesting that you get a Jester only trinket before it unlocks. Same thing here. Leper only trinket. Combat start. 50% extra damage could be huge. Price of Pride, Man at Arms only, gain when hit, extra action, 15%. Oh, there's... Oh, my God. Hold on. This one I can scroll. Occultus only, if Flames under 40, 8% crit. Plague Doctor, extra Blight resist. Minus 20% max HP on entering the region. Ouch. Max HP. Dysentery needs to go. That's a disease anyway. Blundering Fool, 50% uh, chance for Vulnerable, minus 2 speed. When moving, you lose damage. Master of the Pastures and its advantages. Head Injury, Neat Freak, Nervous, round start, 10% chance to gain stress. Don't love that. So now the game has simultaneously gotten harder and easier because you get better things, but there's crazier quirks and stuff. Apples and cheese for 20%. Blight resist. Heals 25% HP. Produces various concoctions and powders. 100% scout chance for quarter. 25 bleed resist. Blight resist. Burn resist. If dark impulse is equipped, big move resist. Is that what that one is? Uh, or debuff resist, sorry. Greater Hail Draft, 20% HP. It's the same as the Spoons. Greater Wolf's Blood, 4 speed. Bloody Flux, less HP, less healing. Chatterbox just won't stop talking. Classic. Master of the Force Advantages. Uh, this buffs the Burn Resist. Extra speed until the next in. Increased stacking for bandages, anti-venom, and burn cells. Interesting. The whole, like, uh, managing your coach inventory is a game in, a, in and of itself. Mortar and Pestle produces poultices. Oh, look at this. Cruel Intent with Dark Impulse gives 12% crit. Wow. Love to find that. Mortal Ward, you get Death Blow Resist. Melee attacks give 20% damage. Move resist. Move resist. Stun resist. Boisterous and clotter. Last but not least, the runaway class. Meditative totem in item. You can purge a negative quirk and lose stress. That's nice. Debuff enemy move resist. Chance to daze. Poach upgrade rare. Increases quantity of looted food. An ice box. Disease resist. Disease resist. Ranged attack damage. 15% for a crit at combat start. Stun resist. 15% chance to apply vulnerable on hit. Diphtheria. When stress damage, one damage or two damage. 5% chance to be stunned at round start. Uh, low health. High crits on Clutch Hitter and Dark Curiosity, prone to investigating the Dark Arts. So next up, next class unlock comes at 9. I'm going to assume that the space between profiles maybe increases the higher it gets. We're at 6.5. If we do a full other run, it's a very good chance we unlock the Jester. Leper at 12. Occultist at 15. 
Doesn't look like there's a Vestal, Bounty Hunter, any of that stuff. This is all just like really high-end trinkets. Slayer of Fanatics, Plague Eaters, Pillagers, Swine, Dancer's Balance, Stout, Lethal Faint, Tactical Thinker, Precision Striker, Quirk the Djinn, <laughs> and Deathless. Damn! Guys, that was awesome. That was cool. Um, I'm not going to be able to do another run today. But I want to see what it's like going in to set this up. And we'll come back tomorrow for a fresh start. Let's take the intro in. Early access, I think, is going to be about a year. My plan is to see what we can get accomplished this whole week. And, uh... Ruin has found you at last. My protege. My friend. Our calculations were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The Earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. And everywhere, unbridled consequence. The world is a wasteland of failures past. And yet, you must ride out into it, unafraid. Take this. It is hope, the very last of it. It is yours now. You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze on the horizon. And face the fearsome truth of the darkest dungeon. So I have to imagine that enemies get tougher as our profile increases. I have to imagine that that final boss is, is different or changes. Because now that those shackles are off, if you go back to it, and you're like, oh, you just got to kill the shackles again. That doesn't seem like that big of a, a challenge. Um, I don't know what this is. Like this, we only had this option the first time as well. Complete your confession. Wait, is this just the opening cinematic? Yes. Okay. So... There must be other thresholds where we unlock these different openers. Which maybe change things as well. You have cowered in your crumbling denial long enough. <laughs> what now? The crossroads, where lost souls hope to find their way. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's check this out. So here's our Hellion. It resets all the names. Good. Love that. Love that. Can we get a shout-out to, to our original group? That was pretty, pretty epic. Ozzy, Toby, Rogue, and Winnow. That was super cool. Now, um, interesting how you're going to end up, like, committing to these guys for a full run is really intense, if you ask me. But we're going to do it. So we'd have the Hellion, spilling of blood and offering of the gods. I'm going to, I'll make our squad and I'll get us to the inn and then we'll, we'll wrap up there. So if you guys want to be part of the squad, I'll ask you in a bit here. So, our Hellion's definitely front rank focused, high damage, does bleed, and has bloodlust. Wicked Hack attacks the front too. Iron Swan hits that back line. This is really nice. This is something the Man at Arms is sorely lacking. But with the Man at Arms lacks in, in back rank damage, makes up for in defense, which is huge. Barbaric Yawk. This hits the front too. Uh, doesn't do any damage. 
and it adds that wind thing. I don't recall what that is again. It basically makes the front two have half damage and removes stealth. Pretty good at the, against the right enemies. Now, remember, we haven't seen stealthy enemies, so there's got to be enemy development. There has to be. I'm sure there is. Uh, if it bleeds from rank two and three, hits rank two, three, and uh, applies bleed, and then toe to toe, moves forward, taunts herself, and immobilizes. She's starting with Breacher. Whoa. At combat start, pull three. Times two super blocks, times two attack boosts, and times two taunts. Do I get to literally pull an enemy out of position at the start of battle? Is that what that's telling me? I wish I could bring up that overlay in this screen, but you can't. Blundering Fool, 50% chance for vulnerable at the start, minus two speed, and then when moving, minus one damage. It seems it, I get pulled? But well, what does that mean? How do I get pulled? Pull me three? Where am I getting pulled to? Skills you unlock last run still can use? Nope. Looks like all of these have to be unlocked in every run. Oh, uh, wait a sec. That's a lie. Hold on. No, no. Yeah, we keep them. My bad. We keep them. So over time, we can unlock every skill for every every hero. Just another, like, meta progression. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. This seems like a very good... Uh, quirk. Beneath bloodlust and fury, there is emptiness and shame. Yeah, I know. I understand what pull what pull does generally. Usually, when we have a pull attack, we're able to pull an enemy to the front. I just don't know how it works for a quirk, because <laughs> it says that combat start pull three. You can pull up to three positions out of. So you can pull somebody from the back to the front. Essentially. We'll see. Uh, the Runaway. Let's check this out. Fire and Smoke. Destruction and Concealment. Front Rank. Burn. Stealth. Support. Anatomania. Obsessed with death and what lies beyond the mortal coil. And Light Sensitive. If the flame's above 75. So basically, early in the runs, they're going to start with two... Two uh, half damage. Debuff. Let's see what you got. Run away. Searing strike. Okay, so she applies burn. All right, that's cool. Firefly. She can hit from the back two and hit any target for three burn. Lower damage. Smoke screen, we can blind. Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. Run and hide. We can back one and stealth. And then Hearth Light ignores stealth and removes stealth from all enemies. She seems incredibly situational. At least with her early unlocks here. Oh, we should check the Hellion's other skills as well. So her lock skills are Ransack. She moves forward and pulls back. Cauterize. Heals for 25% and removes bleeding, but ble they have to be bleeding only. Okay. Controlled burn ignores dodge, stealth, and blind. And the target takes whatever burn thing that is. Dragonfly hits the front two, burns, small damage, moves her back. By your starter, so she's all burn. Apply and hit. Backdraft requires monster in front. Cooldown of one. Ignores guard. Deals 50% of remaining burn on monster in front. Does damage to target. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So, you want to be... Okay, so backdraft. You're lighting the, the front person on fire a bunch of times. Right? And then... 
The monster in front, you you trigger backdraft on the back line, and they take 50% of the remaining burn on the front monster as damage to themselves. That's cool. And it doesn't even seem like it removes the burn from the monster in front. Very, very specific. Nothing remains save a burning will to survive. Other Hellion skills. Um, low HP, she can heal. That's pretty nice. That would be something you'd want to unlock if you're not bringing other healers, right? Uh, removes bleeding, removes winded, I think that is. And winded gets applied to her somewhere. Yeah, here, barbaric yop. Yeah. Okay. Bleed out applies winded. And winded reduces speed and maybe damages it? Something like that. A gleaming endowment. 20% heal on attack OP. Uh, this is not an attack. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. At the end there. Yeah. So you, Okay, so yeah, you heal up right away. And then I guess on your next attack, you heal another 20%. You have to be under 33% to start it. It's pretty good. Bleed out. This is big bleed. Remove winded. Attacks gain 20% damage when targets bleeding. Breakthrough forward and winded. Raucous revelry. You have to be under 33% to heal. All allies have a 50% chance of minus one stress. You guarantee remove two stress from yourself. You get winded and you remove horror. Howling End. Look at that damage. 8 to 14. Ignores block. 10% crit. And winded. Neat. Well, if we want to try a run with these two, with the Hellion and uh, the, the uh, Runaway, then I pretty much have to fill out my back line a certain way. Because these guys want to be in positions 1 and 2. Clearly. Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. Sisters of Battle. Hey, I don't mind that at all. We don't have a unique name for everything, turns out. Hunted. Harried. A fugitive seeking to outpace the past. <laughs> When did go away on its own? I have to check. I can't see the uh, the overlay, but we can check in a sec. I think we try a Sisters of Battle run. I mean, it makes the most sense from this perspective. We have we have uh, some damage replacement, some damage over time stuff. So uh, I'm gonna need four names. Who would like to be the Hellion for this run? Eric, thank you for the super chat. Broad Meadow Luck, thank you for the twenty dollar super chat. You guys, thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Stew Woo? <laughs> Stew Woo? <laughs> I won't mess up that name a billion times. Okay, Stew Woo is the Hellion. You guys can just say if you want to be involved, I'll put you as any of these, okay? Who would like to be the runaway? This is a big one. No, there's never been a runaway before. This is a lot of pressure. Nemesis. I like that. Nemesis. Okay, Nemesis, you're in. Grave Robber, we're going to do... Let's go Grave Robber can be Insider. Like this, spelt like that. 
And lastly, let's give let's give uh let's give the mods a bit of love here. Let's make one of our mods one of these guys. Sniff sniff theory. You're the plague doctor. Okay. So we've got Stubu, the Hellion, Nemesis, the Runaway, Insider, the Grave Robber, and Sniff Theory, the Plague the Duck Tower. Interesting to see if this works. Uh, I would like for them to be. I'm sure they'll add this, but like I'd like to change like their colors and stuff, like you can in the first one. I know with, like, the 3D models, that's going to be a little bit more work. I'm sure that they've done it. But, uh... I'm sure that'll come. Get rid of flashing daggers. Take Dead of Night. These guys, we have to take everything. And then we don't have a new skill here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. We don't get to pick the skill, right? I think they'll unlock in this order. I think they unlock in this order. So who would be most beneficial to unlock? The Plague Grenade is actually very good for Blight. And I could turn off incision to use that. Ransack, maybe. Or the adrenaline rush is also pretty cool on low health. Guilt, loathing, failure, regret. All right, so I'll play us to the first inn. I'll play us to the first inn. All right. The time for denial it's a short has trip. passed. You must face your failures, or be consumed by them. Well, at least get like one battle in or something. Take up these goods. Oh, hey! Academic and imbue cash. them with purpose. Yellow. Very nice. Coach upgrade produces poultices. All right. I like that name, Stu Wu. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of the. Your Wu? insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause, and I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. I think we had a battle on this road, did we not? We have a cache. We have some desperates. We can get extra flame. I don't know if that's really necessary because we're going straight to an inn. But both of these are the same. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours There's now. There's apples and cheese. Oh, we don't have the mold anymore. It's beautiful. I think he's saying it. Comforts are exhausted. Ahead, steal yourself. Only trial. We are building and an tribulation. Army. Okay, here we go. Each gravestone is more than a failure. It Stu is a thanks. to do better. <laughs> thanks for the membership. All right, let's the just try out our new group. This is, is giving way. Oh. Okay, so. Breacher does super blocks, damage, and taunt. I shouldn't say damage, I should say strength, but she got that. I don't know what the pull three is, but whatever. Nemesis is going first. Let's check these out. <laughs> Look at the particles. Look at this. They've done such a good job. Dissection. An unavoidable end. Oh, 
give him all the things. But she's got wicked hack. Oh, big setup. I like that. The yacht. Uh, the Yawk used to be a stun in the first one, on the first two lines, which was incredibly strong. Um, now with this winded thing, it's the same kind of thing, because Yawk would reduce your outgoing damage in the first one, but it's, it's no longer a stun, and you reduce uh, your speed a bit. But it's good for high damage guys in the front. That is really nice. And if she comes in here with this quirk, getting Breacher every time, like getting the, the taunt and the block, that's really good. Crits there. Could kill him. The I, these guys might not even have death. Can make all the difference. Yeah, all four. Don't. She doesn't have any. So now, if she's in this type of position to hit that back line, we have a smoke screen to blind. We have run and hide so she can back and stealth. And then she could start applying burns from uh, that further position. But because these guys are shuffled, that becomes a little bit weird. We'll just smoke screen it. And then she needs to unlock... Oh, no, she has Iron Swamp. We need the fourth. Okay, that's right. Good, 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 good. So already you can see there's like a little bit of awkwardness with this party, being able to attack certain positions. Yeah, and like all of these things we were used to now. So what doesn't carry over is the upgraded versions of these skills. We're back to base, and we need to get mastery points to upgrade them. Look, she's got all the things. Oh, she resisted the burn. Didn't resist that. The means of mastery. Some good items. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. So every run seems to start out the same way. You get some boosts, you get that one little early fight. It's nice because you get to test out a new class and stuff. You never played before. Get a few goodies. The place is a little worse for wear, but familiar nonetheless. Feels hundred percent when you get here. Listen. We're gonna have to undo practice. all of this anyways, because uh, improve. We'll end here and then we'll set this all up tomorrow, guys. Thanks so much for coming. This was an absolute blasty. Um, Tomorrow, I, tomorrow's Wednesday, right? So tomorrow's stream will be at the same time. Thursdays and Friday streams will be in the afternoon. And I'll probably take the weekend off. But, uh, yeah. Very, very interested to see where this goes. And I, I'm thinking tomorrow, I mean, now we can move a lot faster. We might be able to do a run in a day if we don't dilly-dally. Of course, that depends on, like, our party makeup and all that stuff. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. See what we can do. 
But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you uh, are still here, can you if you can like the video, it helps a lot. If you can go back and like part one as well and share it with your grandma and all of her friends, that would be sweet. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. This is a really fun day of killing things and uh, becoming almost killed ourselves. Thanks for all the new members. Really appreciate it, you guys. Thanks for the super chats. And uh, if you use my creator code, then thank you for that as well when you're buying the game. Congrats to the winners of the five free copies. Mark, the Game Dome guy, Holden Rogers, Phaser, and the Ninth Faith. Congratulations. And uh, I'm sure by tomorrow, when you guys come back, if you're buying the game today, you'll probably have more hours in it than me. And you can teach me a few things. So, yeah. We'll see you guys very soon. Uh, have a good one. Bye for now. Take care. See ya.